Okay, I've got a fairly crude representation of an isotropic mesh lift node, as I see it possibly here. And what you've got, you've got this um, well node point, a wheel, with a bearing in the centre. And through the bearing, you've got three ropes. A main lift rope, which jams on the bottom with this split ring. Now the split ring is through the rope, and it stops it going up to the bearing. But it does allow it to rotate underneath there. Now there's space, because it's just that point on the bearing, there's space for two other ropes to go up freely through there so you can move those control ropes up and down without them being snagged on that lift rope. So these would go up to the kite, your, your thicker rope being the main, the main force one and the, the two light ones fitting through in the gap, hopefully not being jammed, you'd, you'd want to maybe have the, the smoother end of the split ring up there and make sure there's enough space in the bearing to freely uh, let that yeah, let that go through. There's, there's very well. I haven't noticed much friction when I've had that taut and tried pulling the control lines. But I'm going to go out and test it in a field in a wee while. See, see what effects I get. Now, obviously, that's a that's a pretty messy job I've made of that. But uh, I've put that split ring through the rope. I don't think it takes out a lot of uh, a lot of the strength of the rope. You'd use maybe a thicker section of the rope for where you connect this, and then have your normal tether all the way down to the ground and you know continuing from up here you'd attach on a lighter tether so that you, you know you can get enough resistance through that that joint there. Now the other thing uh, you've got that split ring through there so maybe instead of running directly to the ground with these control lines um, what you could do you could run along you know, more rings along here so you've got on the, the mesh itself, so we've got the three points on a hex mesh here, you could have another ring here, another ring out, another ring out, and run these lines, the control lines, uh, that way. So you're, you're able to control down the side uh, of a mesh, instead of going straight down. That way maybe you could uh, set balances so you can control five or six at once, or you could run individual lines so you can uh, individually address each kite instead of steering the whole mesh.